Christian Mitchell spent over $1,200 on flight tickets. ED. A frequent flyer to India, British national Christian James Mitchell had allegedly spent more than $1,200 on international and domestic air travel tickets. The body's name and that of his various contacts but through a daily base to agency, whose owner was also wrote in by him to float a shell company. The Enforcement Directorate, ED, has recorded a statement of the travel agency's owner under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, that is a PMLA. He told the ED that his company had received about $10.84 from Mr. Michel's Dubai-based firm, Global Services, FZE, between April 20, 2007 and March 2013 for air tickets. August a Westland VVIP helicopter deal and middleman Christian James uh, Mitchell extradited to India. Mr. Mitchell was uh, brought to New Delhi on board a research and analysis wing plane is likely to be produced before a Delhi court on 5th December. British national Christian James Mitchell wanted in the alleged uh, $3,700 crore August a Westland chopper deal driver case was extradited to India from the United Arab Emirates on 4th December. Mr. Mitchell was uh, brought to New Delhi on the board an aviation research center plane of the research and analysis wing RNAW at around 10.45 p.m. and escorted to the Central Bureau of Investigation headquarters by a team of Delhi police officials. is likely to be produced before a Delhi court on December 5th. Under the guidance of National Security Advisor Ajit Daval, the entire operation was coordinated by CBI Director in Charge M. Nageshwar Rao. A team led by the agency's Joint Director A. Sai Manuhar visited Dubai for the purpose, said the CBI in a statement. Mr. Mitchell's role in the purchase of a 12 helicopter surfaced in 2012 as a middleman for swinging the deal in favor of Augusta Wasteland and making illegal payments to Indian public servants. Initially, the investigation conducted by the Italian authorities indicated him for offenses of international bribery, the agency said. Mr. Misha was arrested by the Dubai Palace in February 2017 on the basis of an Interpol red notice issued against him. The CBI filed a charge suit against the accused in September 2017. Washington sets aside divisions for Bush state funeral. A divided Washington led by the nation's five living presidents put on a show of unity on Wednesday at the Poignant State Funeral of George H. W. Bush as America bade farewell to its 41st president. Donald and Melania Trump shared a front rail pair at Washington National Cathedral with past presidents Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Jimmy Carter and their wives as an honor. A guard brought Bush's flag draft cast into the packet prayer hall. George W. Bush delivered a rousing and a deeply personal eulogy at times uh, punctuated by laughter as he sang the praises of his father who died on the Friday at the age of 94. Cold and Kelly, he was born with just two settings, full throttle, then sleep. Mr. Bush said, at last his was the brightest of a thousand points of light. He added in reference to his father's signature a call to volunteerism. Since uh, Bush's death, Mr. Trump uh, has uh, tried his usual provocative pressures for uh, one of respect and uh, solemnity and tweeting before heading to the Capitol about a day of celebration for a great man. Mr. Trump arrived and promptly shook hands with Mr. Obama and the former First Lady Michelle Obama, but his greetings stopped there as he failed to acknowledge Hillary Clinton, his defeated Democratic rival in 2016. And that's the end of this international and national news.